Hi guys, it's Jodie Liz and I'm back with another mental health video today. Just a trigger warning before I start, this video may be triggering to some people and if you feel that it's going to upset you then please don't watch. I'm doing this to help you, not to hurt you. Um, and if you feel that you can't watch this because suicide or self-harm is triggering to you or may, you may feel like you have the urge and then this video might tip you over the edge. I, just, I don't want to be that person, so if you feel that you can't watch, then please click off this video. But um, let's get started. So, you probably didn't know this, but up until 1961 in the UK, suicide was actually a crime. Um, it's You've probably heard the term committed suicide. Suicide was a crime and the term committed suicide basically means they've committed, so for example, you hear commit murder or commit burglary or whatever, but that means they've committed a crime. And saying committed suicide means that they have committed a cr the crime of suicide. So what you could say instead is died by suicide. So somebody died by suicide rather than committed suicide because sometimes someone who's been bereaved by a loss of someone who has died by suicide it can really just upset them because it's not a crime at all and it should never have been but um yeah the next thing i want to talk about is i've heard many people say a successful suicide if someone has died by suicide or a completed suicide or again a failed suicide <laughs> Um, suicide is not a task that should be completed. It, it should be, I don't think it should exist at all, but it's going to happen. I just feel that saying someone has completed suicide or saying a successful suicide, I feel that it's just, it's hard to hear because it's not successful if someone dies like you wouldn't say I successfully murdered someone or it's my my wife for example was successfully murdered you you wouldn't say that and it's the same with suicide someone who has died by suicide or someone who made an attempt on their life if they're so in pain it's not a failed attempt that they didn't die if that makes any sense um and then the last thing I want to talk about today is during this difficult time, the UK is, well, I think most places are in lockdown due to coronavirus and more people are going to be struggling because they're going to be stuck at home by themselves with their thoughts or someone may be stuck at home with a parent that's abusive or they just may be struggling altogether with not seeing their friends. So just check up on your friends and family check if they're okay you know say hi just maybe go on a dog walk go on go get some exercise outside you know you're allowed once a day you're allowed to go out and get some exercise maybe go on a walk if you have a dog walk the dog you know if you have a parent in your household then you could go walk with a parent i personally have been walking with my dad around my village uh, every day so that's really helped me I think but you never know who can be struggling and just checking up on people I think will help them to know that they aren't alone but that was today's video about stigma uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this has taught you something maybe but yeah I'll see you next week for another original bye